When you see an elephant, you're looking at the largest land animal alive today, but it's nothing compared to the giants of the past. In Earth's history, there were mammals so massive, today's elephants would seem small beside them. These megafauna were the heavyweight champions of prehistory, shaping entire ecosystems. Imagine a rhinoceros tall enough to browse treetops or a ground sloth as big as a building. They weren't monsters, they were real, thriving for millions of years. But where did they go? Why haven't such giants returned? Their disappearance is a mystery involving climate shifts, changing food sources and the limits of biology. And then there's us, humans, whose rise coincided with their fall. To understand our impact and the fragility of life, we must look back at these lost giants. Let's journey into their world and uncover why the age of giant mammals is gone forever. To truly grasp what we've lost to time, let's meet four of the most awe-inspiring prehistoric titans that ever walked the earth. These giants once dominated their landscapes, shaping entire ecosystems with their sheer size and power. First, Indracotherium, possibly the largest land mammal to have ever existed. Picture a hornless rhino but one that towers 16 feet at the shoulder and tips the scales at up to 20 tons. Its massive frame dwarfed any modern land animal, making even today's elephants seem small by comparison. Indracotherium roamed the ancient forests of Asia, using its long neck to browse the highest treetops with ease. Its diet consisted mainly of leaves and soft vegetation, allowing it to reach food sources inaccessible to other herbivores. Next, Megatherium, the colossal ground sloth of South America. Standing nearly 20 feet tall when upright and weighing as much as 4 tons, it was a true giant among mammals. With its enormous curved claws, Megatherium could pull down entire branches, feeding on leaves and fruits that other animals couldn't reach. Then, Andrusarchus, a mysterious and formidable predator, known to us only from a gigantic skull. This ancient carnivore may have been the largest land mammalian predator ever, equipped with bone-crushing jaws capable of taking down large prey or scavenging massive carcasses. Finally, Paleoloxodon nematicus, the straight-tusked elephant of ancient Asia. Towering over 16 feet tall and weighing up to 22 tons, it dwarfed even the largest modern elephants. Its straight, massive tusks could reach lengths of over 16 feet, making it a true icon of prehistoric megafauna. These creatures redefined what it meant to be a giant. Each of these animals played a crucial role in their environments, some as ecosystem engineers, others as dominant predators or specialized browsers. They shaped the world around them influencing the evolution and survival of countless other species. Yet, their immense size, which once gave them an advantage, also made them vulnerable to changes in climate, habitat, and the arrival of new predators, including early humans. Today, only their fossilized remains and bones are left to tell the story of their existence, offering us a window into a lost world of giants. These four are just a glimpse into a time when giant meant something truly extraordinary, when the earth was home to creatures beyond our wildest imagination. Their legacy endures as a powerful reminder of nature's former extremes and the incredible diversity that once existed on our planet. Let's look even closer at what made these giants possible and what ultimately led to their downfall, forever changing the course of life on earth. Indracotherium was the skyscraper of mammals, a true titan that once roamed the ancient landscapes of Asia. Imagine a creature so immense that it dwarfed everything around it, a living monument to the power of evolution. Stand beside it, and you'd barely reach its knee. Its head could browse 26 feet above the ground, effortlessly reaching the highest branches. For comparison, that's taller than a two-story house, and its sheer size would have been awe-inspiring to witness. This incredible height let it feed where no other mammal could, giving it exclusive access to a buffet of treetop leaves. By shaping the upper canopy, Indracotherium played a key role in the structure and diversity of ancient Asian forests. Its massive pillar-like legs and strong sturdy spines supported a body that weighed as much as four elephants. With no adult predators daring to challenge it, Indracotherium truly ruled its domain. Indracotherium's prehensile lip was like a built-in tool perfectly designed to strip leaves from even the thinnest branches. This adaptation made it a master forager in a world overflowing with foliage. But why did it grow so big? Warm, stable climates and vast unbroken forests created an open niche. Being huge meant more food, fewer threats, and a better chance of survival in a world where size was a superpower. Yet, this specialization was a double-edged sword. 
Indracotherium's entire existence depended on the abundance of its leafy world. When climates cooled and forests shrank, Indracotherium's food sources began to vanish, leaving it with fewer and fewer options. Its enormous size once its greatest advantage now became a heavy burden. Moving such a massive body in a shrinking resource-poor world was a daily struggle. Unable to adapt quickly enough to the changing environment, Indracotherium gradually disappeared as its world transformed around it. The largest land mammal ever was brought down not by predators, but by the slow, relentless loss of its habitat, a silent extinction. Its story is a powerful lesson in the risks of being too specialized, and a reminder that even the most dominant creatures are vulnerable to change. Even the mightiest fall when their world collapses, leaving only bones and memories behind. Megatherium, the giant ground sloth, was a true gentle giant, slow-moving, immensely powerful, and quietly transformative in its ancient world. Towering over most other creatures of its time, Megatherium was a marvel of evolution, a creature that seemed almost mythical in its proportions and presence. It could stand upright, using its enormous curved claws to pull down entire tree branches. With each movement, it reshaped the forests, clearing vegetation and creating open spaces that allowed new plants and animals to flourish. In this way, Megatherium was not just a consumer, but a true ecosystem engineer, shaping the landscape for generations. Its thick, tough hide and sheer size made it nearly immune to most predators. Few dared challenge such a colossal creature, and even the boldest carnivores would think twice before approaching. With a slow metabolism, Megatherium didn't need to rush, it could take its time, thriving for millions of years across the vast landscapes of the Americas, adapting to changing climates and environments as the ages passed. In stark contrast stands Andrew Sarkis, a true mystery of prehistory, known only from a single, massive skull unearthed in Asia. Its body remains a puzzle, lost to time. The teeth of Andrew Sarkis are formidable, built for crushing bone and perhaps even the tough shells of ancient turtles. Yet, without a full skeleton, its true appearance and habits remain the subject of debate and speculation. Some scientists imagine Andrew Sarkis as a giant, wolf-like predator stalking the ancient plains. Others picture it as a bulky, hippo-like scavenger lumbering along riverbanks in search of carrion. Whether it hunted or scavenged, Andrew Sarkis likely ruled its domain with a bone-shattering bite, dominating the ancient Asian shores and leaving a legacy of mystery. Together, Megatherium and Andrew Sarkis represent the extremes of prehistoric life. One a peaceful, slow-moving browser, the other a powerful, enigmatic predator at the top of its food chain. Their fossilized remains are scattered clues, fragments of a world long vanished. Each discovery adds a piece to the puzzle but so much remains unknown. Both creatures were products of their time, thriving until the world around them changed forever. By shifting climates, new competitors, or the arrival of early humans, today their fossils are all that remain, silent witnesses to vanished worlds. Their mysteries endure, inspiring us to keep searching and reminding us of the incredible diversity that once roamed our planet. Paleoloxodon nematicus was the true heavyweight of land animals. Over 16 feet tall and weighing 22 tons, it towered above even today's largest elephants. To survive, it needed to eat over a thousand pounds of vegetation daily, shaping entire landscapes as it moved. Its straight tusks were tools and weapons, clearing paths and defending against rare threats. No predator could challenge a full-grown Paleoloxodon, its only real enemies were hunger and change. But as climate shifted and humans spread, its vast habitats shrank, Unable to find enough food or space, this giant vanished. Its extinction is a stark warning, even the mightiest can fall to environmental change and human pressure. Why can't mammals just keep getting bigger? Biology and physics set hard limits. As animals grow, their weight increases faster than their bones strength, too big and they collapse. Heat is another problem. Large mammals struggle to cool down, which is why the biggest animals live in water. Bigger bodies need stronger hearts, more efficient lungs, and complex nervous systems, each with its own limits. Reproduction slows down too. Giants have fewer offspring and recover slowly from losses. These constraints mean gigantism is a risky evolutionary path. Every giant mammal was a delicate balance of adaptation and vulnerability. They lived on the edge of what's possible. When conditions changed, they couldn't adapt fast enough. Their size was both their triumph and their undoing. No animal exists apart from its environment, 
The age of giants was fueled by warm, stable climates and endless food. Vast forests let browsers like Indricotherium and Paleoloxodon thrive, but Earth's climate changed, cooling, drying, and turning forests into grasslands. Grass is tougher and less nutritious, favoring smaller, more adaptable grazers. Some scientists think higher ancient oxygen levels may have helped giants grow, but as oxygen dropped, so did size limits. As habitats fragmented and food vanished, specialists like the megafauna couldn't keep up. The world that made giants possible disappeared. They were perfectly adapted to a world that no longer exists. When the environment changed, their size became a trap. Evolution rewards adaptability, not just size. The giants were left behind by a changing planet. For millions of years, giant mammals faced natural challenges until humans arrived. As Homo sapiens spread, the largest animals began to vanish. Early humans were expert hunters, working in groups to take down massive prey. Megafauna, with slow reproduction and huge space needs, couldn't withstand this new threat. But hunting wasn't the only problem. Humans also transformed landscapes, clearing forests and fragmenting habitats. Giants like Paleoloxodon needed vast territories. Shrinking habitats spelled doom. The combination of hunting and habitat loss was a perfect storm. Already stressed by climate change, the giants couldn't survive the added pressure. Their extinction was one of humanity's first major impacts on the planet. It's a pattern we've repeated ever since. The age of giants ended not with a bang, but with the steady advance of a new, dominant species. Our legacy is written in their bones. The lesson, even the largest can be brought down by the smallest. Why won't we see giant mammals again? The rules haven't changed, gravity, heat, and energy still limit size. The lush, stable world that fueled gigantism is gone, replaced by fragmented habitats and scarce resources. Even if a new giant evolved, it would hit a wall of limited food and space. And now humanity dominates the land, there's no room for 20-ton animals to roam. In the Anthropocene, survival favors adaptability, not size. The age of giant mammals is over, their story a lesson in evolution, environment, and extinction. But life endures. Today's mammals, from elephants to raccoons, are survivors, adapted to a world of constant change. They may not shake the ground, but their resilience is its own kind of greatness. The giants are gone, but the wonder of life remains. Their legacy is a reminder of both nature's power and its fragility.